everyone. As I had mentioned yesterday, markets opened with a slight gap up, but they immediately started correcting after 9.30. Till about 11, the markets were in a downward mood. After that, they consolidated a bit. And then towards end of the day, after lunch, they went up. And at the end of the day, they nearly closed with no profit, no loss, or literally zero gain. Besides the equity market right now, gold and crude are both looking very appealing. Gold, like I had mentioned yesterday also, has been going up considerably. It is now a bit more closer to 70,000. I have started adding a bit of more gold by SGBs right now. That is in line with the strategy I have mentioned in my previous videos. Today I took some positions in MRPL. It's very volatile in these kind of environments. I'll talk about it slightly later in the video. The FIA and DI data had not come in on money control by the time I started shooting the video. Our FIA's net sold 1600 crores worth of stocks. DI's were net buyers about 2000 crores. From index heavyweight perspective, Reliance and AATL corrected. All other three major stocks, TCS, HDFC and ICICI, they were in good mood. HDFC has been going up for last three days. It may be the DIA action right now, where FIs are net seller, but DIAs are still buying. This is the open interest graph I showed yesterday. This is from Sensible. It is a fantastic portal if you are into FNO. I'd mentioned 22,000 till 22,500 as a trading range. However, the range actually today was much narrower. This is the latest graph. Right on Nifty is trading roughly between 22,400 and 22,500. The trading range is, however, 22,300 to 22,500. There is support till 22,000. Based upon the open interest buildup, it doesn't seem that this series, unless something major happens, will be outside this range. This is the Nifty 50 table. This is just to show to you that there was a lot of selling in the heavy weights, which is reflecting in the FII sell number. Today, I have also added the table for Nifty Next 50. This is a lot better looking, lot greener, which indicates that there was a lot more broad-based buying happening in the market, not just the Nifty heavyweights. I had mentioned a trade that I took yesterday. I tried to average down a bit, but again, buying options is always a bad idea. Looking at the range which Nifty was not ready to break, I finally towards 315, squared up one of the trades where I was paying margin, book slight loss of 1600 rupees. The trade looks negative right now, but based upon the premium I am due to collect next two days, unless Nifty really goes up a lot in the next two days, this trade should still be profitable. About 15% profit, 36.50. This is on an invested amount of roughly 40,000 rupees. In terms of overall market action, the shots from Mars seem to be getting covered right now. So whatever was happening because of the SEBI action, because of the tax loss harvesting, maybe in year-end action, there were two or three things that happened in March. It seems that the market is finally willing to get over it and continue its buying spree. Whatever got sold last month, it seems it is getting bought right now. What seems to be happening is that strong non-nifty stocks are picking up right now and the market is now becoming stock specific as well as sector specific. So metals, for example, have been going up a lot. There is general news that construction stocks are nearly at lifetime high. So if construction is doing well, then construction linked commodities like steel, copper, they should do well, which is happening right now. Today, Steel Authority also went up about 5 or 6%. Tata Steel has been going up a bit. Hindustan Copper has been on fire. Also, both India and US markets are in acceptance mode that there will, no be, there will be no interest rate cuts in this quarter. Finally, markets are factoring that in and moving on. At least Indian markets are okay with no interest being cut right now. I took some trades yesterday and today. Just a quick update on that. So, Ujjivan Small Finance, again, a trading favorite for me. I bought a bit of it today. Aditya Capital was up strongly. Aditya Fashion is being hived off. Aditya Capital has a stake. So as soon as it started going up in the morning, I picked up a bit of it and it went up 9-10%. Probably tomorrow or day after, I'll close both of these trades based upon whatever profit or loss is there. MRP are interesting stock. I made some delivery based buying yesterday. I bought a bit more and then sold off yesterday's quantity. Decent profit on yesterday's buy, about 12 rupees on yesterday's buy price. Power Finance, again, I had bought yesterday, I sold today. There's a bit of REC also which I bought yesterday, but it corrected a lot after buying. It's a bit on loss. I'll check on that trade in a day or two. All these are cash market trades. Overall markets are not going anywhere. They're looking for cues either from regulators or maybe wait for the results season to start on the 11th. Usually at this time, traders start positioning themselves for the upcoming results. There's already anticipation that the results will be decent this time. First 10-12 days are the typical nifty heavyweights. 
these days us stocks are reacting to interest rate cuts news a day later finally today they realize that interest rates are not getting cut all major indices are sulking today about a percent down this should have ideally happened yesterday will this impact indian market tomorrow i don't think so these days interest rate related news in the us usually does not have too much impact in india maybe it stocks tcs infosys may come under a little pressure if nasdaq is down significantly besides that not too much of impact expected tomorrow also india will have a sideways day only it may open a bit weak based upon the us queues and then bounce back and then become range bound first expiry on thursday probably will be a no event most of the open trades from last financial year were closed last month so not too much to close in the limited one week window of this financial year thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow